As the numbers continue to rise here in Georgia, here at CBS 46, we have team coverage. Let's begin with our Adam Murphy. And Adam, we know the plan for the nationwide rollout of the vaccines, but what did Governor Kemp say about Georgia's statewide plan today? Well, the governor and his team said that the CDC has approved Georgia's rollout plans when that vaccine does arrive here in our state. They are still trying to fine tune the exact locations where that vaccine will be distributed, but said, as you mentioned, the most vulnerable will be eligible first. But they stressed just because a vaccine is coming, now is not the time to let your guard down. Just be smart. Use good common sense. Governor Brian Kemp wasted no time urging Georgians to take action this Thanksgiving holiday to stop the spread of coronavirus. If possible, consider gathering virtually or limiting your holiday gatherings to only a few people within the same household. If weather permits, see if you can gather outside to reduce the risk of exposure indoors. If you are traveling, Take extra steps to socially distance from those you don't regularly see. In addition, the governor asked everyone to follow four simple safety measures. Wear a face mask, social distance, wash your hands, and follow the guidance of public health officials. Let's continue to hunker down. Let's stay vigilant and resolve to act in the best interest of our fellow citizens. State leaders also expressed concern about a significant increase in the number of Georgians getting tested for COVID-19 just days before the holiday. If you get tested today and you're negative, it does not mean that you will not be uh, positive in a, in a day or two or three. And so it's particularly important that we don't use that COVID test as a justification to go and not follow the guidelines. Tell me they have been working closely with the CDC to make sure that they have their staff on the ground ready to go when the first batch of vaccines arrive in the coming weeks. Live inside the Capitol, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.